Hello and welcome to ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's daily tip is how to create a random word cycle in After Effects. All right, so we are in After Effects and let me show you what we're going to create today. So I have this text layer in here and it has a bunch of different words. So what I'm going to do with these words, I will cycle through them in my composition here. So let me show you what I'm talking about. And I also have option to control the frame rate. So if I select this text in here, I can go to the slider right there and then I can take it down to maybe two frames. In other words, it's going to shuffle through two of them in one second. So it's going to slow it down like this. And then you can speed it up by maybe going to eight. So it's going to go pretty fast. Now, let me show you how to set this up. So the first thing I want to do is go inside of my text here. I'm going to go into source text, select this, and then hit S twice to solo it. And then alt click on the stopwatch to create an expression. And inside here, I'm going to create some variables. So the first one's going to be words. And essentially, I want to grab these words from my text layer. So I'm going to say this layer period name. So if I let go, you can see that it does that. Now I want to split every single word into its own separate index. And to do that, I'm going to use the split function. And by the way, I did go over that in tip number 37. So go to ukramedia.com slash tip 37. All right, so I'm going to keep going here and I'll say period split. And inside my parentheses, I'm going to add quotation. Inside quotation, I'm going to say space. So it's going to split every single word into its own separate index. So let's see what happens. Yep, that happened. Now next, I want to know the amount of words that we have. So I'm going to add a new variable called word count. And I'll say words period length. So basically what it does is going to take this, the name of my text layer, and then it'll give me the amount of words that I have in there. And so that's what this length is for. So let's see what happens. So right now it tells me eight, and that's exactly what I have here. So if this changes, let's say if I have six words, it's going to give me six and so on. So that's very useful. So I'm going to keep going. And now we're going to generate a random number. So I'm going to say random number. And in here, I'm going to add random. And by the way, I did go over random in tip number 52. So go to ukramedia.com slash tip 52. All right. So inside here, I'm going to say, give me a random number between zero and word count, which is eight. That's what we know. If you let go, it's going to give me a number between zero and eight. So it will not go past eight. Now, the only problem I have with this, I don't want these decimals. So how do I get rid of it? And to do that, I'm going to go to the next line here. I'm going to create a variable called rounded number. And in here, we're going to round it downwards. So I'm going to say math period floor, and I'll add random number. Okay, so now it looks clean. So we can actually do something with this number. I'm going to go down here and type words. And instead of typing a number here, I'm just going to add rounded number. If I let go, you can see that now it kind of cycles through all of them, but it's going really fast. So I'm not done yet. So I'm going to keep going with this. I'm going to go and add a seed random. So I'm going to add it in here. And by the way, I did go over that in tip number 52. So we're going to go into our expression helper and we'll go to random and click on this seed random. So when you do that, it's going to add into your expression and we're going to change some things. So where it says seed I'm going to type, let's do time times five. Okay. And then where it says timeless, I'm going to change that from false to true. Because what it does, if you say false, then it's going to give you a random value for each frame. But when you say true, it's going to give you just one value. But the seed right here generates like a different value. So that's why we're going to animate the seed instead of this. Okay. So if I let go, it's still going fast because we have those decimals. So we have to round our number downwards to get rid of it. So I'm going to add math period floor and I'll put that in my parentheses. So let's see what happens. So now it's a lot slower. So I can actually play with this number or I'm going to give it a variable. Instead of five, I'm going to say frame rate and I'll give it a value right here. So I'm going to do right above it. I'm going to say frame rate. You're going to be, let's do five. Okay. So essentially it's the same thing. We just put it inside a variable. So let's play this exactly same thing. Now, instead of changing the value in here, let's go into our text and then add a slider. So I'm going to go expression controls slider, and then I'm going to change that to frame rate. And instead of having five in here, I'm going to select this five and then pick whip to my slider in here. And so now I have the same thing, but I can control my value in here. So I can speed it up or slow it down. 
and I can also add keyframes to it. All right, thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like this video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. But until next time, my name is Sergey Praknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.